the LG V20 user here, and today I'm going to do a video on the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro. So Apple has announced the next iPhone that they're going to be announced on Tuesday. Um, so guys, the iPhone 11 right here. Uh, this is the uh, cheaper iPhone that they have this year. This is it's called the iPhone 11. So it does have dual cameras on the back. You got to see the back there. Um, so that was nice this uh iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro are supposed to be released on September 20th, which is next Friday, so we we'll to stay tuned for that. And it looks like the iPhone 11 will be available in a variety of colors there, so it's pretty cool, alright? So I'm going to move a lot less to mix up, so um, yeah. Hopefully this is not a long video, but it's long, but I can't promise anything, alright? It's just, just a random amount of, of everything. A new dual camera system captures more of what you see and more the faster chip you're getting a smartphone. And all that grab that lets you do more and trap sauce and the highest quality video in a smartphone so your room is look better than ever. So pre orders start at 5 a.m. Pacific time on September 13th. So that is really nice. Like I said, the iPhone will be available on next Friday, September 20th. It says live the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th site there. Like I said, it's available in about 6 colors. You got purple, yellow, green, black, white, and product red there, so that's really nice. Um, let's be fun with this one. So iPhone 11 will be in 6 colors. So there's that. It's just it just got a whole lot harder to take a bad photo. It has a new camera system. Um, it has an ultra wide camera, so it's really cool. Yeah, I'm gonna just have a 12. The pixel wide camera and 12 megapixel ultra wide camera there. Oh, uh, so yeah. Since you kick, you get it up and not for a very smooth right down the hair. Yeah, I've got some props, keys, and filters and shit to shoot and edit the highest quality video on my smartphone. It highly records 4K at 60 frames across all its cameras. I don't know why I keep going back, but I don't know why I just So, yeah, I've got some skewed. And now that's got filters as well. So, Alright, we did get 4K at 60 frames. It's really good. Um, okay, everyone skewed out a little bit. It also has an ultra wide camera. I think it's for the back or front end, I'm not sure. Uh, if you guys want to read all this other, yeah, I've got some I'm, I'm not going to read all this, which is going to take forever. To do that, and I'll be doing it forever. So. Um, yeah, yeah, you see the pictures here. Uh, not enough light, no problem. Um, introducing Nightmare. Shooting in the light doesn't have to be a shot in the dark. Nightmare is a new feature that turns it on automatically for the for the light photos like you've never seen. There's no need to flash colors or match for the photos on the brighter. I also have uh, Night uh, So you guys see the difference with Nightmare to One and Nightmare to Off. That's with Nightmare to Off, this is with night in Nightmare to One. So, you know, if you're in the uh, dark room and you're 
but um, you turn on it and then it'll make your picture better. So it's pretty nice. As I've a portrait, perfect things. And this and this, that's a portrait line, of course. Smart HDR is the easiest form of flattery there. I do not you know since my HDR thanks to much thanks to machine learning my HDR is more intelligent than ever I recommend this paper on tracing differently from the rest of the shop so the faces have beautiful lights, shadows and natural looking tones and that stunning sunset in the background looks still looks gorgeous different books to video faster than a speeding tower so See right here, this is part of iOS 13 now, so go from iOS yellow yeah, and slide over to the camera video. So just slide your phone over and then go here. Start shooting the video actually with a quick take. Take a video simply by holding the shutter button up, bottom photo now. Then swipe to the right to continue recording. If you're shooting outdoors, the 818 behind it can use machine learning to automatically track and move the subject. So I know yourself is introducing to Slothy. Slothy, I guess. Um, everything looks cool at 120 frames per second, even if you're just saying she's waving high and it's awesome to have in the blues. And now you can have more another thing like to yourself is and thanks to the new top of the that's a true deaf camera. Just turn your iPhone into a landscape and the camera automatically jumped out to fit more in. So that's really cool. So me I say a selfie it's a 120 frames per second, so it's pretty nice. Designed to take a splash and a designed to take a spill and a splash. The top is glassy and it's more and more resistance to twice the depth. Alright, system glass, front glass and back glass are strengthened, are strengthened through a dual ion exchange process iPhone 11 and water is up to 2 meters for after 30 minutes. Double the depth of iPhone 10 R. So you can submit your iPhone up to 2 meters of water now for 30 minutes. That's really cool. That's uh, 6-7 feet or something like that. Roses are very well. That's what I would say. We have liquid red and LCD, the true red life, all screens and one mix of them with no reason. True turn and just a white balance to match the color tint of the light. Remind you, tap or light, tap or raise to look good. iPhone is ready. Insta. You have had to touch, do all kinds of essential things fast and with contextual memory and shortcuts. All in a day's charge. You do get all day battery life, which is nice. It says hardware and software work together to get the most out of your battery. And thanks to a fast charging capability, you can recharge in less time. A chip that's offered. This is the eight. And this this is the eight thirteen my I chip in the machine. So um. 813 Bionic is so powerful, everything you do is fast and fluid. It also works in the most powerful, it also works in the most powerful fashion than possible, so you, so your battery lasts longer. In fact, 813 Bionic is so advanced, it's years ahead of the pack. So you guys see, it has a couple of uh, things going on, like a like a game gun, photos and videos and stuff like that. You guys have uh, touch ID, watch, 
jangan jangan sampai saja ya mah I'm not sure what happened here the message is the message here face authentication smartphone face a day that you don't want to hide from Instagram it's even more secure than Tata D but we're just a good one we're just a good one so you can sign into the apps access accounts and pay with Apple Pay and setting it up is quick and simple and I found one of them that this is more privacy I'm not sure what happened here it's a new feature in iPhone is designed to protect your personal information. Basically, it doesn't store or share your photo. You send an iMessage or make a FaceTime call, your data is encrypted, and the maps tells you what you are doing without saying where you've been. So, um, so iOS 13 improves on security and privacy, so that's a win. Share a fine play more precisely than I will get ultra wideband technology comes to iPhone. New iPhone design, you want to use ultra wideband technology for spectacle or learning. So I'm an iPhone 11 to precisely. Okay, I do UI. Well, I'm an iPhone 11 to precisely. Okay, I do you want You could have the right to stand. Then GPS at the scale of your living room so if you want to share a file with someone using the airdrop just want your friend like theirs and they will be first on the list however even when you leave it iPhone holds its value longer on um, every iPhone is engineered with premium materials and built to last but when it's finally time to let down you feel you trade Traded them for your next iPhone, and the old one will be recyclable to a new owner. So that's pretty cool. So, you yeah, guys know that iPhones get updates for like five years, so um, they do they, they get updates and so so. That's what I like about um, that's what I like about iOS because they sample um, they update their devices for five years, so. You guys have like an iPhone, let's say you guys have an iPhone 11, you guys will be updates for 5 years. So that's what my name of the phone is going to do that. And you guys got a um, great surface one, you guys got a spatical audio, summer light, surround sound for a little more, immersion experience, you guys can double up maps, sound move on in 3D space, you feel like you're inside the action. When it's charging, of course, it's back on this one. Put your iPhone on any cute trick I tried it for port free charging. Fast charge, capable charge. Oh, god damn it. I don't know why it keeps hanging I don't know why it's in on my. I said it's fast charging, capable charger, phone, charger battery. Yeah, charger battery up to 50 percent in just 30 minutes. But then, 18 watt charger. You have to buy it separately. Uh, you need to get faster Wi Fi. Wi Fi 6. Put buttons 82118X lets you download up to 38% faster. And you get with class LTE. You get up to 30 LTE bands for the best worldwide work on uh, the iPhone 11. It's not 5G this year. Um, Apple probably won't have uh, the Apple probably will not have a 5G iPhone for a like another couple of years, so I'll stay tuned for that. Uh, so the iPhone 11 is LT only. New 5G on this iPhone here. Sorry to say. You do get um, audio sharing. Pair two sets of AirPods or Beats headphones to an iPhone. And you get dual sound with eSIM. Have one number for business and one number for personal calls. So that's really nice. Um, use AI to see iPhone 11. Open this page using Safari and iPhone or iPad. Um, so it's pretty cool. So check it out. Um, uh, let's see pricing here.
So the alpha and alpha message chip is the alpha and that they have here. Iphone 11 is coming, of course, you gotta see that there. So, the iPhone 11 will be $699 for retail price when it is released on the 20th. Um, that, that's the iPhone 11 right there. So, there's the prices there. If you guys trade in an iPhone, y'all guys, guys trade in an iPhone, y'all guys, 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 guys with the iPhone 11 for 400 bucks. So, Cool. So this is the specs they have. Um, we know his iOS 13 on. We do know that. So. Um, so you gotta do it. Y'all gotta get uh, six shots of truth on black green, yellow, purple. Red or white there if you have this 11 resource options 64 128 256 gigs. Um, the height of the iPhone 11 is 5.94 inches, which is 2.98 inches, and that is 0.33 inches. The iPhone 11 was 6.84 ounces, it's by 6.1 inches, that is 7, 9, 17 by 828. Uh, so the same PPI as it has since the iPhone 4. So uh, yeah, it has uh, that stuff there. So that display 6.1 inches, 813 behind the chip. Um, dual 12 megapixel comes on back. One is ultra wide and one is a wide angle camera. Um, yeah, night lighting, we had auto adjustments and stuff like that. 4K videos at 24, 30, and 60. 1080p at 30 and 60, 700p video at 30 frames. And yeah, all this stuff here. Trade up the camera, which is your front facing camera. And you guys get a 12 megapixel camera with that take one temperature lens, portrait mode, uh, portrait lighting, and emoji, me and 4K video at 24, 30, and 60. 1080p at 30 and 60. Simulation video support for 1080 and 20. Next generation is smart and stuff for further. Face ID, um, Apple Play, of course, Apple Card, and in Yaz and get him pretty much an AK. And that's the Yaz one, 18T team, Spend Verizon, Beers, Verizon Mobile, Credit, Metro PCS, Straight So Every carrier will have the iPhone. Alright, alright. Um, as you say, the um, band's there. Locations, click on uh, auto con, audio playback, video playback, Siri, external buttons. The battery, uh, I don't know what the battery is. Yeah, you, you have iOS 13. Accessibility, built in app, all this apps here. Free apps from Apple, um, headphones, AirPods, with lightning connectors, and cover. Uh, system requirements. In the box, you gotta see the iPhone. Uh, I'll let them die with that thing. Every punch of lightning connected, lightning to USB connected, lightning to USB cable, USB power adapter, and documentation to understand this stuff there. So there's the iPhone 11 right there, and this is the uh, budget version. This is $699 for the retail price. That's pretty good. Um, Check out the iPhone 11 Pro. There's also an iPhone 11 Pro Max. So there's three iPhone issues. So let's uh, check out the iPhone 11 Pro real quick. So basically the same features as it did on the iPhone 11. So it's a bigger battery and a bigger screen. Uh, 
So one thing that the um, Pro has over there, I love him. Is bigger screen and bigger battery. So I'm not gonna go over the features on the iPhone 11 Pro because y'all have been y'all guys know them y'all all guys know that for yourself so basically the same thing that I showed you guys with the iPhone 11. So yeah, and the iPhone 11 had Pro has three cameras. There you guys go. But the iPhone 11 Pro has three cameras. Interesting. Yeah, guys. Yeah. Then there was Pro. So there's basically an overview of the iPhone 11 Pro Pro camera system. Yeah. We got up to ourselves, so there's three cameras on the back here. Um, it says meet the first triple camera system to combine cutting edge technology with the legendary. But with the legendary, it's basically an iPhone capture up to four times more you know, capable so for images and the drastic, drastic level of it. Shoot the highest quality video in a smartphone and edit with the same tools you love for photos and never shot with anything like it. Uh, you yeah, have two cameras in the bag. First one is an ultra wide camera, uh, with the, uh, 12 megapixel sensor. Uh, this one here is a white camera, white camera, also 12 megapixels. And then this one right here. There's a telephoto camera, also 12 megapixels, so I think you guys have it. It's an expanded field of view. The iPhone 11 Pro lets you zoom from the telephoto all the way out to the new ultra wide from the front and press a 4 times out to the original range. Okay, video, shoot it, flip it, zoom it, crop it, cut it, write it, tweak it, run it. Y'all have to shoot 4K at 60 frames on that. So. There you go. Oops, we'll, 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 we'll go back there for a second. Um, we have an 813 bounded chip. Oh, audio zoom. And four time. No, I'm saying that. Boom, you're a film editor. I was set to let you edit videos to so you edit photos, rotate, pop, water, and hands. Add filters and more. Ultra wide, take it all in. We're taking the guys with you. That's very nice for taking the straight park and stuff. You know? That mode high tech meets loop like from stimulated restaurants to midnight beaches. The new night mode uses intelligent software and I was taking in an A13 Bionic to deliver lovely shots like never before possible on iPhone. All it happens and it all happens automatically. You can expand out manual controls to dial in even more detail now. Let's do this. There it is with night mode on, night mode off. So if you guys have night mode off, it's kind of hard to see if you guys have night mode on. It's easy to see the whole truck right there in the background. So there you go. Portrait mode power to the portrait. With three cameras working together, you can fit more in your portraits and I was the thing is the high key light mode effect for studio style. For studio style. 
minor crimes and put the lighting at you control the intensity of light to flatter your subject just like you would in a studio how beautiful is that? <coughs> so amazing listen if you guys look at that I found 11 parts talking to me so talking about the camera here ok that's three cameras on back Smart HDR and then you thought your feathers couldn't get any better. Well, apparently they can. So it's next to this one. Smart HDR and uses advanced algorithms to finesse highlight and shadow detail in your image. And now it let now it leverages machine learning to recognize faces in the chat and intelligently relight them. That means that I'll open credit and automatically find them. Details and break the subject in the background, even some. DSLR cameras can't do that. <clears throat> be ready to be ready when your photo op turns into a video op. Uh, say you're taking photos and you see something and you've got to catch a video with quick take. There's no need to switch mics, just put your finger on the shutter button to start recording. Want to keep the recording going? Swipe right to take first photos. Swipe left. Sorry. Why suffer when you can sleep? So you can have some nice selfies now. So very nice. The new 12 mm megapixel true depth camera lets you take super fun slow motion selfie videos at 1.5 frames per second, or shoot in 4K at 60 frames. But still, the camera now. Automatically zooms out when you rotate your iPhone so you can get your whole career in the shot. And yes, you can solve this in the car. So, you guys have it here. I need more cool camera features 4% more light capture of telephoto, 36% brighter, true turn flash with slow sync, zero shadow light, six lighting effects, and portrait mode two times more. Height then panels and optical and stabilization. Pro display super retina XDR, a sharp contrast with everything else. So now I'm let them Pro has 800 nits of brightness, 1200 nits for HDR photos and HDR 10 movies. 2,000 to 1 contrast ratio, 458 pixels per minute, so that's the um, pixel density. Uh, custom OLED, uh, color environment, true tone, and haptic touch limit. Tackle, and it's the weak, and your iPhone will be ready. It's always ready in the next one. Night shift, more efficient, and true light. Pro performance at chips are advanced even while trying to catch up. So it's because I'm about 818 by 155 percent machine learning across the entire chip. And neighboring experiences that are simply on the phone and neighboring experiences that simply aren't found on the other smartphone. In fact, it's so fast, so powerful, and so intelligent. It shares ahead of any other chip, which gives you an unfair advantage. It's public fusion, uh, fastest CPU, fastest GPU, neutral engine, machine learning, and core memory three. Another um, better life would be the right? PS5. Four more hours of better life, I can hold five more hours. Five more hours of better life, I can hold Next, and up to 50% charge and 30 minutes for fast charge. Grading toughest class is not good science, it's modular science. This hasn't been done yet, which is a no do ion exchange. Splashes. A most water is just an iPhone ever 2 millimeters for 30 minutes. IP68 rating. Uh, so you get four meters here. Uh, 
water resistance is to it at 4 minutes for 30 minutes, steel resistance and dust resistance as well. Can you be more precise? Yes. Face ID is the face ID is now direction. Price to it once further away at one angles to it's still the same. It's the most secure face identification in the smartphone. Privacy is well done. It um he's young and tried and young is trying to offer and this offer and the two more it is. Young is young is in the almost spectral audio audio shine fast ones. One is trying to rest and wifi. I get thirty LTE range and do so he sent him some cool. Use off use AR to see half an hour per Spice no, I found eleven pro required the same spice on the I found eleven pro max. So I don't know what that max I don't know what the difference is between the I found eleven pro and the I found eleven pro max. I don't know they're about to tell us right here. <coughs> so the iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max come in four colors gold, space gray, silver, and then green. Uh, 64, 256, 5 gigabytes of storage, and not one of the iPhones. And the iPhone 11 Pro is 5.67 inches height. 2.9 inches with 132 inches top. iPhone 11 Pro is 6.63 ounces. iPhone 11 Pro Max is 6.22 inches height. 3.6 inches with 132 inches top. The iPhone 11 Pro Max was 7.97 ounces. The splays here are 5.8 inches on the iPhone 11 Pro or 6.5 inches on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Same as last year, so. Nothing has changed from last year's screen sizes. Um, they, they have OLED displays. Um, they both have 458 PPI. Our iPhone looking for is 2436 by 1125 pixels. And then the iPhone 11 Pro Max has 2688 by 1242 pixels. Um, tree tone display, or color display, epic touch. Fingerprint resistant. So they have splice and water resistance, dust resistance, 8 to 10 bionic chip. Um, they have three cameras on the back, and they're all 12 megapixels. They have an ultra wide, wide, and telephoto cameras on the back, 4K videos at 60 frames. Um, right there. So it's the same splice as it's in, in the iPhone 11, except for a bigger battery and bigger screen. So the iPhone 11 has a 6.1 inch display. The iPhone 11 Pro is 5.8 inch display. And the iPhone 11 Pro Max, 6.5 inch display. <coughs> tree depth camera, tree depth camera is 12 megapixels with a 2.2 aperture. Portrait mode, portrait lighting, 4K at 24, 30, and 60. Uh, face ID, Apple Pay, Apple Card, and they're all asking with these on AT&T, T-Mobile, Spring, Verizon, and in every case, unless you have some tech off, we'll have the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, what a, what, what a plus the fuck name, they, I don't know. So, the old models that have it is 11 AX Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, NFC, uh, video calling, FaceTime, of course, audio playback, video playback, Siri, uh, power on battery. They don't tell you what they are, what they mean, mainly, I'm sorry, they, they have an 18 watt charger included. I think on the iPhone 11, I think you have to pay extra for that. 
iPhone 11 is cheaper um, up to 3 so it's iPhone 11, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max so it's just operating system iOS 13 uh, features include uh, your accessibility and all these apps here standard apps, headphones, airpods, and running connector some card and you, you can have support for easily It says iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max are not compatible with existing micro SIM cards. System requirements so are And what you guys get in the box is the iPhone that was start turning air probably running connected USB C to let me cable 18 more USB power adapt documentation. So now the much of the price of the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. So the iPhone 11 is $699 for retail. So now we have the prices for both. Uh, this is the 11 Pro right here. Let's see how much of this. So the iPhone 11 Pro will be How much is the old print right? I would say it's about ten ninety nine I guess, I'm not sure. But let me tell you what this price let me tell you what the price is of the eleven uh of the eleven print max is. Let's tell you. Let's see tell you what it is there. So yeah, Apple has announced the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max that they're going on Tuesday. If you guys want to check this out, the link to this will be down below. Um, I did not read every single thing on here. I just kind of like skimmed through it because it would it would have taken forever. This is probably a long video anyway. But I hope that you guys enjoyed the video here. If you guys did, uh, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you guys watched the whole thing, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, the iPhone will be available next Friday, September 20th for all carriers. So stay tuned for that. Um, so I don't know how I don't know how I'm gonna do my iPhone videos. I don't, don't know how I am gonna do them yet. I haven't figured that out just yet. So stay tuned for that. That's gonna be a lot of work. I'm gonna do all these iPhone videos. Gonna be a lot of work. But I've done it every year, so uh, it's nothing new to me. But but it's just a lot of work to do like. I mean, I find videos on one day, so uh, so stay tuned to my channel for the I find videos for for each carrier. So stay tuned for that. So uh, yeah, they guys have the iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 11 Pro Max. So uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you guys are listening out a lot, please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.